Brian O'Leary has seen more than just about any civilian when it comes to the world of free energy or zero-point energy devices. As an idealistic young PhD in space sciences, he was slated to go to Mars on a NASA mission when the Vietnam War shifted the U.S.'s priorities. Instead, he became a professor, teaching at Cornell alongside Carl Sagan and later at Princeton in the physics department. And ultimately, his broad curiosity about future technologies in space brought him to the understanding that only through free and clean energy can we progress as a global species. The rub has been that vested interests have thwarted this progress at every turn. Yes, um, you know, it took me a long time to, uh, uh, even I resisted addressing the question of free energy or zero point energy or vacuum energy or any of the more uh, esoteric sounding energy sources which, uh, which have been out there and researched uh, for quite a while. And uh, so I finally decided to address that question in the early um, 1990s, late 1980s. I traveled the world. I visited many of the most uh, promising inventors and researchers and found that there are devices of all kinds out there that uh, are not at the practical stage as practical devices that we can use. Uh, it's like there are a lot of Wright brothers out there uh, testing out and proving the concept. Mm -hmm. but that we haven't gone through the critical step yet of actually developing a, a, a real device that, that people can generally use. That's, that's very inexpensive and accessible to all. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I, I am fully confident, by the way, that any one or some of these technologies can be implemented if we have the will, if we have the courage, um, then we, we can move ahead into this. Uh, and I also feel that this uh, option, the, the option of so-called free energy, is the only option available to us now that makes any sense in meeting even a fraction of, of the total energy demand of the world. Uh, so we, we have this two-edged sword now. We have a situation in which there have been literally hundreds to thousands of inventors out there that have been divided and ruled and suppressed. And we have a concept uh, whose physics has gotten much better known. I've made it a personal study uh, through the years, uh, over the last three decades actually, uh, to uh, prove to myself that it's experimentally viable, that with a concerted research and development effort, we can come up with some uh, extraordinary technologies for clean, cheap, uh, decentralized energy. And it would just blow the whole energy crisis wide open. And we could solve uh, our principal problem of sustainability, which is that uh, we've been using very dirty energy. For a full-length look at this wise and scholarly view of where we go from here in demanding new energies, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.